Jason Chaffetz with me now. Do you think the anti-Trump rhetoric is in part to blame for this? I, I think it is. I think that the tone of the country is, is wrong. And I, I think if you look at the Russia, Russia, Russia and Hillary Clinton and the, the comments that you're going to destroy dis, de, democracy, the comparisons to Hillary, I think that does have an effect. Now, on the other side, what I think Donald Trump should do is be more like Clint Eastwood. Just, just take it and just say, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do for the country. Here's how I'm going to improve your lives. Here's how I'm going to provide safety and security for you and your family. So no matter what the question, no matter the topic, whether it's Taylor Swift or anything else, just talk to America about what you want okay. to do to the country, for the country, like you did the previous four years. If you will stay on message, he will win this election in a big way. Well, do you think that the Democrats or the media will, in fact, tone down the Trump hatred? No, because the Democrats can't and won't talk about policy. They, their policies have failed. It's a distraction by them. They want to make this a referendum on Donald Trump. Donald Trump should be able to talk about how I'm going to improve your life, what the future should look like. Any day that the Democrats can talk about anything other than policy, that, that's a good day for Democrats. And, and that's what the Republicans and, Demo and, and Donald Trump have to avoid at all costs. Next one, Jason. Listen to what President Biden had to say about diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, DEI. Roll it. Affirmative action and the values of diversity, equity, and inclusion are under attack. Books are being banned. History is being erased. HBCUs, HBCUs have received bomb threats. And right now, lies and hate are being spread about Haitian, Ameri ha 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 Haitian Americans in Ohio. It's wrong. It's simply wrong. And it must stop. There are those who want a country for some of us, but not for all of us. Jason, the president and Harris are defending diversity, equity, and inclusion. They are defending DEI. Is that a vote-winning program? Uh, no, that, that, that is their initiative. That is their goal. If you look at the website, for instance, of Homeland Security, uh, one of their top plans in their, in their strategic plan is diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's not about protecting America. It's not about creating more safety and security at the homeland. It's about DEI, and, and I think that's fundamentally wrong. Uh, look, and for him to say Haitian Americans, the people they imported are not Haitian Americans. They're Haitians. And, and that's the distraction that they put on this is it's just inaccurate. And, and look, there is a difference in this election. It's a choice election between Donald Trump and what he wants to do to protect America. We can embrace legal immigration, but to embrace the idea that illegal immigration is OK and we're going to import them like, you know, 500,000 people. Uh, from these uh, these countries and then have a wide open border, that is a choice that America has to make. And I, I don't think America is where, where Joe Biden says it is. I wonder if we'll get any solid word on Kamala Harris's policy when she's interviewed for two hours live streaming with Oprah Winfrey later this week. I question whether we'll ever get to policy. Last word to you. That, that's the key. And that's where Donald, it's not, a, it's not enough to just be right in an election, Stuart. You got to actually make the case and 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 that and you got to stay on message. It's tough. Yeah, <laughs> it's an election. Year. Less than 50 days to go. It's unbelievable. Jason, thanks for joining us this morning. We'll see you again soon.